This is the new MD Reed's Bassoon Reed Profiler. Uh, it's selling for a conservative lower price than uh, what was otherwise available, and yet it's working ship and uh, how well the materials are built is probably better than uh, the previously available versions. Um, first you have this that slides on a, a well-designed uh, bearing meant to be used as a sliding bearing. The blade, which is carbide, is held in here. And there's a second blade down below, perhaps you can see. Uh, so that if you ever need to have this one sharpened, uh, you can replace it with a second blade. Paul Deegan tells me that most of us will probably never need to replace the blade because it's carbide, not just a hard, st high strength steel. Um, here's the bearing that rides on the ramp, which determines the profile. Uh, probably see a little later that there's a split right here and uh, this determines when the taper changes from fairly gentle to a little uh, more uh, greater as it goes towards the tip. This is typical of a double taper type reed. Um, there are other ramps available um, and if you know what you want, uh, Paul, and when you order it, Paul will not charge extra for it or you can get a new ramp uh, with a different uh, shape uh, for 50 bucks. Um, he also says that uh, he'll sharpen the blades for free if you just pay the round trip postage. And a new blade, I believe, is uh, $30. So we're talking about pretty reasonable amounts here. These are the two stops, one to stop at the tip, and this one determines to stop at your collar. You notice they have locking brass fittings here. This is the, what I would call a cylinder uh, that you mount the cane on. And um, these beautiful brass uh, hoops, or whatever you want to call them, uh, are what uh, hold it in place. Uh, there are lines here and here, as well as a center, so that you can center the uh, cane. And then simply slip these on. Make sure you open them up enough so they get all the way on there. There we go. And you can double check the Double check the positioning. So this one needs to come a little bit farther this way. There we are. Uh, the other thing is, in a way, there's a benefit that it's flat because you can make sure you are in the middle. And because the p relationship of the pins with these pins is slightly off center to provide the greater uh, profiling towards the uh, side edges of the cane. So all we have to do is drop this in place and uh, when you're, now I don't know if this is the way everybody does it, but this is what I learned at uh, Glickman Popkin Bassoon Camp. Uh, we're actually only going to shape one half of the cane and then we turn this around and you start over here you just move this slowly, this side slowly by uh, hand and start flip this around so that we're working evenly on both sides and start again. Paul actually has a uh, metal bar here that keeps you from being able to take off uh, more than uh, a small amount of cane. It's kind of like a hand plane. Now because I uh, uh, I don't need to flip back to the other side. We'll do the second one here and then flip back. And now I'll flip it around. And see. Uh, now we'll do the second one on this side. There's no way to avoid getting a lot of chips from this, and uh, my wife gets a little upset when she finds them around the house, so she'd probably try to clean up after doing one. If 
you lose track of where you are, it's really no problem because at the end you can't, you cannot shave any more cane off than this ramp will allow. I believe we pretty well got that side, but we'll probably check it again just in case. point I recommend uh, taking your knife and creating the, uh, the center line because it's marked nicely on here and that way you'll make sure you fold it on the center as this is designed. Now you don't have to really worry about there little being excess uh, chips here and so forth because when you fold after you fold the cane you're going to clip the tip and what's going on right here is immaterial. I'm going to just uh, Put the knife right there and roll this around. Put the knife at the center line and roll it. You don't want to score too much. You do not want the uh, tip to open up uh, when you're making the read. So that's all there is to it. Um, now let me just show you a side view. I forgot to mention these adjustment knobs they allow you to adjust either the front or the back of the ramp so that as you change designs um, or you can try out a new design uh, with greater perhaps slope uh, by you can change the slope by changing one of these knobs more than the other they basically are detented at half positions and hold positions and have numbers on them and uh, I'm putting it back because I don't want to lose track of where I was, but you can write these numbers down to keep track of your reads. Um, you can um, uh, basically they're detented and you can get back to where you were at. Uh, so that if you want to try a new design with a new setting here and they say, no, that doesn't work. I want to go to a new, uh, go back, you do this. Um, by changing one side more than the other, you can change the slope of this as well. Um, Another interesting feature of this that I wouldn't have expected is uh, need Allen wrenches to loosen a couple of the screws. A little, not too easy to get out, but you can get them out because they're held by a magnet. <laughs> there we go. And uh, what's beautiful about this is that uh, quite often one loses track of Allen wrenches. If you've got a set, you put it back in the set and then trying to figure out the right one. So with this, uh, you never have to worry about losing them so long as you put them back in the in the device um, and uh, that's about it uh, I'll show you uh, what the cane looks like um, not sure if I'm gonna I think you can see that it is a uh, is much uh, thinner in the middle than the ends as one would expect uh, there's a fairly well-defined collar here but uh, most of the time you have to uh, use a knife and kind of cut this collar back no no um, uh, uh, profiler is able to do this perfectly um, and um, I think uh, uh, this is what you should buy it's cheaper and it's better than uh, the other ones that are available uh, Paul is doing this because he basically thinks we ought to have something like this at a lower price he's working on some new products um, he uh, believes in beautiful finishes you see that uh, we've got this is blue anodized this is stainless steel uh, virtually all of the uh, mechanical uh, steel parts are stainless and um, you can actually get it ordered in a different uh, color uh, but there's a $50 extra charge um, the um, I think I pretty well covered everything 